in the show you can kind of piece together Washington at a specific moment as a, a city that was on the vanguard of this particular kind of um, abstraction. All of these artists were living in Washington, D.C. They influenced each other, they taught each other, they learned from each other. They were very self-consciously pursuing something new. Artists were looking at ways to really redefine what it was that a painting could be. Sam Gilliam's Light Depth from 1969 is a, a monumental painting. It's over 75 feet of uh, unprimed canvas that is stained and twisted and soaked uh, and really manipulated to occupy this space between architecture and painting and sculpture. I love that painting. Yeah. In a sense, there's, there's no beginning and, and there's no end. It's a really flat plane of colour. Um, but as you look at it and as you look at the colours and as the colours start to, to move, it kind of takes on a sculptural uh, three-dimensionality in a way. The artists were really interested in the expressive power of colour and a lot of them really tried to free colour um, from its support and, and it explored the way that colour operated on its own. So we have 10 paintings by Gene Davis. He was a teacher here at the Corcoran and he was also an exhibiting artist. And with these paintings, what's so beautiful about them is that you'll never experience them in the same way twice. You can sort of enter the painting through one colour and then let your eye take you through the picture. You would agonise over the colour relationships and sometimes only completing one or two stripes in a day. If for Davis it was the stripe, for Downing it was the dot. Tom Downing is another one of these artists who the Corcoran has um, collected in great depth. We have five paintings on view now. Downing was really interested in jazz and was really inspired by the rhythms of jazz and the kind of staccato way that your eye moves and bounces across the canvas. It's really wonderful to be able to watch them um, throughout the day. The dots sort of recede and, and come to the surface and the painting actually seems to breathe with the light. These artists were concerned less with the emotion of the individual artist and more about the expressive power of color liberated from individuals and liberated from objects and how color operated in the real world. But there is a sense I think in which the work is very much tied to DC and the very specific light of Washington DC and the color and the geometry of the city and it feels very rooted here.